Hey, what's good family? In this video, I am going to be teaching you basic market structure. This is a video you're going to want to save. You're going to want to make sure you understand everything I say in this video. You may have to come back to it multiple times, but in order to get everything in the rest of this course or further yourself in trading and really have a better grasp of what's going on in the markets and what is actually going on in the charts, you're going to want to understand these basics before we go on into more advanced market structure. So real quick, hold on. I actually put a little bit of thought into how I wanted to order this. So in this video, first, we're going to talk about how to find the market trend. Then we're going to go over how to identify the changes in market structure. And then after we go over how to identify the changes in market structure, we're going to go over how to find the market range, which range market is trading in. And last but certainly not least, you need to understand that all of this occurs throughout different time frames. Now, without further ado, let's hop into trading view and get to it. All right, here we are in trading view. We are currently taking a look at Tesla's charts. We are currently on the daily chart. As you can see, it says 1D right here. On the four hour chart, it shows 4H. So being back on the daily chart, we're going to quickly talk over how to find market trends. There are really three things you'll see the market do, which is it'll either cause an uptrend, which consists of higher highs and higher lows. Notice that we have a low here, second low is higher, third low is higher. We have a high here, second low is higher, third low is higher. All right, so that right there higher highs, higher lows, uptrend. All right. After uptrends, we can also have our downtrends. That's going to consist of lower lows and lower highs. So looking at this, it almost looks like the opposite of this. All right. So we have a high, have a lower high, and then we have another lower high. And then we have a low, a lower low, then another low. This right here is a downtrend. All right. So once again, uptrends, higher highs, higher lows, downtrend, lower highs, lower lows. All right. And then last but certainly not least, we have a sideways or ranging market. And this is important just to understand where you are. We're not really getting any higher highs or higher lows. You may even see some stuff in between like this and, you know, still looking all right, it's not perfect. You know, if we were really gonna come down to it, be more like this, but yeah, let's say every, let's pretend all these are perfectly even and perfectly equal. This right here is a ranging market. And yes, even though we have highs and lows in here, this here, let me actually highlight that. This is something that you, probably end up asking later if I didn't address it now. Uh, know that this is referred to as internal structure and we will actually get into that a little bit later. But yeah, now that we've gone over this, you see higher highs, higher lows, uptrend, lower highs, lower lows, downtrend, and equal highs, equal lows, uh, along with some internal equal highs and equal lows. This is gonna be sideways, ranging, consolidation, whatever you want to call it, but that's what this is. So now that we see that, uh, let's look at this chart and see if we can identify a trend right here. All right here, I'm actually going to come in here, back up the time a little bit. And backing up to right here, looking at the highs and lows, we can see that, okay, we have a high up here. Uh, we got a we got a low right here, another high up here, another low right here, another high up here, another low down here. Now just kind of looking at this, you can see that, all right, we have a high, we have a low. We have a lower high, we have a lower low. We have a lower high and we have a lower low. So using this information, which one of these charts does it look like? If you said downtrend, that is correct. Okay, we are in a downtrend. Now, this is on a daily chart. I wanna look at this here. Let me highlight it real quick. I wanna come over here and look at this 
on a lower time frame because we need to understand that while it looks like this on the daily chart it's going to look different on the four hour time frame so here coming back to this same area you can see you still have the downtrend but now now there are more candles in between the points where it pivots you can see uh, at a point in time uh, on the lower time frame it's on, on the four hour uh, we're actually in a downtrend right here and then it breaks into an uptrend and you shouldn't fully understand what's going on right here but i just want to show you that what is occurring on the four hour tells a slightly different story or tells more of a story than what's happening on the daily chart all right real quick uh, just to show that there's even more going on here let's drop down to the one hour all right looking at that same section using the information we know or the information we have or just learned right here we have a high we have a low and then we actually have a higher high so right here we're still in the uptrend but then we break into a downtrend and i'm i'm going to stop right here but you can see a lot more is happening i don't want to confuse you too soon and all i'm really trying to say is there is more of a story happening on the smaller time frames than the larger time frames and depending on what time frames you're trading on uh, it's important to be aware of what's going on on the different time frames so for instance say you trade on the daily chart say you uh, take your trades over a longer span of time the trend will change and be positive on the lower time frames before it turns to positive on the daily time frame so uh, it'll be positive on the five minute chart first the 15 minute chart then the one hour then the four hours so it's kind of like a cascading effect so Watching the smaller time frames will help you analyze the larger time frames and checking the larger time frames is also an instrumental part in trading the smaller time frames as well. Now with that being said, we're going to go over how to identify your trading range. Now when it comes to identifying your trading range, each trading range is going to be different depending on what time frame you're trading on. All right, we are currently on the one hour, so here I'll come over here. The way you're going to find your trading range by this point in course you should understand what a bullish candle and a bearish candle looks like so on this chart the bearish candles are going to be the black ones and the bullish ones are going to be the blue ones so if we're in a bearish or a downward trend we're going to draw from top to bottom if we're in the a bearish or bullish trend we're going to draw from bottom to top so let's pretend our range starts right here how we're going to find our range is we're going to be looking at the different pivot points in the charts uh, where we see like different changes or breaks in direction or in momentum and that's kind of where we're going to draw our range from so a simple way to go about this is seeing like okay we have four blue candles uh, this low we have this low right here um, if we were to draw what this look like this right here starting from this black candle would probably look like this all right looking up here and then we have a little black candle so it looked something like that and if we continued look like that all right so let's say this is what this looks like that may not be perfect but say that's what it looks like all right our trading range is going to be the part that looks most like this before we get this pull back so our range is going to be from the low to the high before we get this dip back in this swing point so if i were to highlight the trading range in this instance it would be from here to the highest high right here in this range so it's mostly blue candles and it's going to be the top of the black candle because that is where the high is this would be referred to as the current bullish range because we are in an uptrend at this point so right here while we are above this or while say we were trading right here this is the current bullish range and while we are trading in this range and we don't break below we are still bullish so just know that and now let's actually drop down from the one hour to the 15 minute just so you can see what it looks like and how you can see okay this is the bullish range all right so this is where we highlighted earlier uh we drew it from here to up here we did kind of get a little bit of consolidation but it's still a bullish range and there's 
like really no breaks. Honestly, we probably could have drawn it up here to this point, but if we go up to the one hour, you can see that it kind of stops in the middle of this blue candle, so it was easier to draw right here. So that is how you draw a range. It's definitely going to be something uh, you're going to want to practice, get used to. But yeah, that's how you draw a range, and it's going to be different on each time frame. So if we are on the daily looking for the trading range on the daily chart, let's look. If I were going to draw the trading range right here on the daily chart, I would start down here at the bottom right here, and I would draw it to the top of this black candle right here. So the range would be from 285 to 365. Now going back down to the four hour, you can see this on the four hour for the most part was one clean move. We, we got a little consolidation, but pretty much a straight shot up, slight pullback, and big up. If we look at the same section on the one hour though, you'll start to notice as you drop down to the lower time frames on the one hour you'll notice as you drop down to the lower time frames that little sideways movement we got uh, uh, we kind of broke up we got a little pull back and then we ran up even more and we get another pull back so in between here probably start another range on the one hour so that right there is how you identify ranges i know it's maybe a little confusing but with practice makes perfect so taking this information we just gone over we are going to now learn how to identify changes in market structure now using everything we just learned if we were to draw this out and pick a range for this uh, we can see the low is probably right here and the high of this range probably ends about right there. And the reason it looks like this is because if we were to draw this black part, the top part doesn't really matter because it's bearish. So if we were to draw what this looked like, this would probably look like this. And then we did get a little black candle, but come up here. All right, so it would probably look something like this. It might look a little better. Let's actually drop down, take a look what it looks like on... Um, one hour so looking at it we don't really this is what it looks like on the one hour we don't really have any like major pullbacks or anything it pretty much looks like a clean move to the upside so because of that on the four hour this is one single range right here using this range real quick uh we have some terminology we need to go over all right now this is our market structure terminology i want you to remember you can watch this video as many times as you need save this video come back watch this until you really get it take screenshots whatever you need to do but you need to understand this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a little chart okay we got an uptrend okay say we have some internal structure right here downtrend and then we get something like this uh, we're, we're about to come in here mark this up using everything we have learned so far in this video First, we're going to start off just by drawing all our ranges. All right. So right here in the beginning, we are bullish. So where we're bullish, we're going to draw our range. So we have a trading range right here. That's a bullish range. Now we get the opportunity to use our first term. All right. So now what we're going to do, uh, you notice right here, after our trading range is made, we get a pullback. And then right here, we get a break to the upside. So what this is referred to as, this is going to be SP plus right here. We have a structure break to the upside. So right here we have a structure break to the upside. And whenever we get a structure break to the upside, that means we now have a new bullish range. And the new bullish range is going to be from the bottom of the new low to the new high in that clean moves that we saw. So this was the old trading range. This is now the new trading range. So looking at that uh, right here, we are still trading within. And then once again, right here, we break the high over here, which is going to be another structure break to the upside. So now just going to take that, put that right here. And 
Okay, we now have a new structure break, which means, okay, we are now have a new trading range. All right, so our trading range, we have our trading range right here again, and everything right here within this trading range is internal structure. So right here, we don't have any new highs, new lows or anything, still in the trading range. But now we actually break the low instead of the high. The low is down here. So now we actually have what is referred to as a market structure shift. And which direction does the market structure shift? It actually shifts to the downside. So we're going to have an MSS minus. So now we have a market structure shift down. And now that the market structure has changed, we are now changing our direction of the trend, which typically means you're going to want to trade to the downside. And in this case, uh, our range is from here to here. So everything to the right of this until we either get a break of structure is going to be internal structure. So right here, if we pull this over, see our trading range, we are in, we're, we're still in our trading range when we get this pull back up here. But then if we look, we get another break to the downside. And what's this break referred to? This is going to be, if we look over here, SB minus structure break to the downside. So I am going to take this and we're going to put that right there. So we have a structure break to the downside and we now have a new bearish range, which is going from there down here to the bottom. And all right, so bearish range, we get another pullback and we get another structure break right here. So now I'm going to take this. Once again, I am going to label this break right here, structure break to the downside. And I am going to now have my new trading range. It's not perfect, but you know, we, we try our best to draw. All right, so now we have our new trading range. And this time we actually broke above this. So now with this little break above up here, we get our market structure shift to the upside, which is MSS plus. And now pretend this actually continued on and we pull back to there. If this were to continue on, this whole thing right here would now be our bullish range. And then once we got a break of up here, we would either have our structure break to the upside or we would have a market structure shift to the downside down here. So I hope you're grasping this. If you're not, it's okay. This is something that definitely takes time, uh, but this is definitely something you're gonna wanna take the time to practice and make sure you have a grasp of. The market is constantly doing this on all sorts of different time frames. And, and we'll quickly take a look at a few examples. Then I'm gonna leave you to practice this on your own and really do what you can to get a hand of this. So be sure to take a screenshot of this if you need. And now let's go on to the next. All right, now here we are looking at Tesla on the four hour chart again. Here, let's actually look at Tesla on a 15 minute chart. This will kind of get a little easier range. All right, so here, let's start right here and identify our range. All right, so I'm gonna start right here. Right here, we have a bullish range. Then we get a break of structure over here structure break to the upside. So I'm going to come right here. I'm going to label this a structure break to the upside. Have that just like that. And now that we got our pullback, I am going to, here, I'm going to call this one clean move right here. You could potentially argue that this is a range, but I'm just going to draw this up here. All right, so we have our bullish range on Tesla. 
All right, we get a slight pullback to right here, but then actually get another structure break over here. So we have a structure break right here, and that means we have a new bullish range. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to come from the low, draw the high up here, and now we have another bullish range. So over here, this would be our bullish range. And yeah, so right here, we get another pullback. We get a break of structure to the upside. I'm not going to label it. You get it. It's a break of structure to the upside. But our new bullish range is going to be from here to here. And now, right here, something funny happens. We get a pullback and we actually break below the range. So now, here, let me zoom in a bit. Right here at the bottom of this range, we get a market structure shift to the bottom side. Let me label that. Yeah, so we have our negative market structure shift. We draw from the top of the range to the low. This is going to be from here down right here. All right, so now we have our new bearish range. Everything up until right here, we are trading in a bearish range, but then we break to the upside. And when we break to the upside right here, we then get a market structure shift to the upside. Now I'm sure by this point you understand your structure breaks up, your structure breakdowns, and your market structure shift and your up and your market structure shift down. All right, now take what you have learned in this video. Now go practice this on your different stocks. Me personally, when I trade uh, at the beginning of the day, I will chart on the four hour, then I'll drop down to the one hour and then the 15 minute. And yeah, I will do this on those time frames. And while we're within the four hour, I won't look at the four hour again. If we're still trading in that same range, I'll drop down to the one hour. If we're still in the same range on the one hour, I will look at the 15 minute here. Let me stop that. And while I'm still in that same range on the 15 minute, I might even go down to the five minute. Understanding where you are in market structure is very crucial. And the sooner you get a grasp of this, the sooner you can move on to the more advanced stuff. Like for instance, drawing supply and demand, which we will actually talk about in our next video before moving on to more advanced market structure.